hi, I'm Zach Helmberger, and I was inspired to do a, an experiment with the tires using the tire beads. And uh, so I got one of those, you know, Harbor Freight style uh, tire changers. So I had a set of four tires I was laying around uh, doing nothing for a few years. Outside, they were exposed to the elements. And so I mounted them, and I found a web page that said that you're supposed to put three ounces of, of Airsoft uh, BBs in each tire. So that's what I did. I measured out three ounces and put them in the tires. And at first, when I first started riding it, it seemed like everything was smooth as glass, so I thought. Um, so the first tire here, I, you know, I, I looked at it, I, I had all, I bet you I just had all four pulled up and went to, you know, a professional uh, tire place and got some snow tires since we're coming up on winter, because these are all season tires. And um, so I put the beads in there, it seemed like it was smooth as glass, and the first tire here was, was um, very smooth, hardly any visible tire wear. Um, and so this first tire here was, was really good. And then the beads, uh, the beads, um, they turn black. <laughs> so I guess, you know, these are, I don't know, maybe just because the tires were, you know, exposed to the elements for a while, so the stuff was kind of sloughing off. I mean, you can see my hands are, you know, I mean, it just... So then the next tire here, I... Uh, took a close look at that, and, and the wear pattern, I mean, it, it looks very even here. Um, but after doing a 2,400 mile road trip, on, mostly on highway, um, going up uh, to Montana and back from uh, New Mexico here, so it was about 2,400 miles uh, round trip, and you know, almost all of it on highway, uh, you know, 80 miles an hour, and you can see right here that there's a bald spot uh, where the tread pattern just disappears. And um, I could feel that uh, towards the end of the trip. I noticed that the, the car was getting kind of kind of bouncy or uneven. It was about, you know, like this, this vibration. So I knew that something was up. Um, and again, you know, because it's the same brand, it has the same, you know, black colored beads in it just like the uh, first one. Then this one here is the third tire, and so all three of these are the Yokohama, are these Yokohamas? What are these? Uh, yeah, Yokohama Avid T4 um, all season. And again, you know, same story, uh, very smooth wear pattern. Um, you know, even when you like to look at it this way, and if you, look at the tread pattern itself. Um, it looks very smooth. And then uh, the last tire here was one that, um, this is a uh, Grand Tour LS uh, multi-mile tire. And this one is newer because I, um, you know, it got a flat or something and, the, and so the original tire was destroyed so it had to be replaced with this thing, which is a newer tire and, and it's a different brand. And the thing that was, that was so funny about this one is that the beads, um, let me get the sunlight on there, there. So the beads on this thing are still green, which is uh, quite a surprise. Um, so it could be the, you know, the age of the tire or just a different brand or a different composition of the rubber stuff inside. And again, a very smooth uh, tread pattern. So I think the bottom line, I think the bead method works but in the case of this one tire here, um, I think what, what was going on was that, you know, the tire, you know, got the beads in there and the beads are, you know, doing their thing, you know, trying to balance the, the tire. But the rim, if the rim is badly out of balance, um, there's nothing, the beads, you know, they can't, so you're, you're going to have the, the tire here and you're going to have the rim going like that. And it's just going to um, be really hard on the sidewall of the tire because you got, you know, you got the the rim coming up, and you know, so it's, you know, it's doing this number, and that's why you had that flat spot on the one end there because that's where the like the rim was too heavy and it was, you know, mashing the tire against the road, and um, 
wearing, wearing away the rubber. And so the poor sidewall is going, you know, going like that, you know, a zillion times uh, for, you know, that whole 2,400 miles. Um, so, and I remember, uh, I remember, and then that may have been the rim that had it too, because I remember pulling like a 10 ounce weight, you know, a real pretty good lead weight off of one of them. And I think, God, I don't know, that's more than three ounces. So it could be that if you're going to do this kind of method, that you really should make sure that your rims are reasonably well balanced before you do the, the bead tricks. So that's my insight. So I'll take it for what you think, and thank you very much.